Hello, 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 hello. I'm a, I'm a bit afraid. Uh, different timelines constantly like getting disrupted uh, by, by following things. Uh, I attempted to heal this, there was this call for help at, at a big tree and I sent this wispy out. It was attempting to come through but it had this pain, core pain of soul level, soul style chakras, everything calling for help. So for a few minutes I was in agony with child together, simply calling out for this help. And child also helped to call out for help. So this is what we do emotionally. Um, targets like attempting to approach Pleiades in, a, in an emotional, soulful manner. <sighs> what happen, happens in the school is like I managed to sit at the teacher's desk uh, playing Beethoven's music and two, two autistic uh, children already helping me. One is uh, representing Andromeda, Gaia, Galaxy. Uh, like it was Down syndrome and translating different transmissions at once in an emotional, heartful way. And the other is uh, the, uh, like my guy, who's my, I'm support guy to him, but he's really smarter. But he's uh, like 15 years old and helping me out was a step to stabilize the teenage male frequency. So this is what we do at the school, and I already. Compared to two musical things, and there was this uh, we, we exchange energy by, by music. Right now, like uh, I managed to give the child away to to, to his grandmother, and he's screaming again. So if he gets too tough, uh, mm -hmm. I hope it, it it calms down a bit. Like uh, today, my my wife is away and uh, went to another country, to north. It was, it was a ferry, it was a car, and I'm um, home alone with, with the child for until midnight. And the child is like nine nine months old, and I'm like, what the fuck I'm going to do, you know? And there's like uh, no way I can meet the requirements of a standard uh, home or something. So it was also tough for me, at school it was easy, but now I come home I had to be together with this baby for hours. I, I got him to sleep for a while. But, but uh, it's, it's like, tough, it's, it's really tough. It's not tough because it's like tiring, uh, it's mostly like, emotional pain comes up when you deal with a baby. Uh, like he, he targets your core soul essence and if there's any pain left, you know, there's this huge attack, huge attack. I come to, as a voluntary to this galaxy to solve this huge crisis. Basically, this uh, I Down syndrome guy also told me that there was this nuclear catastrophe, okay? So, don't you understand? There was this huge nuclear catastrophe in this galaxy. A huge beings influenced by these humans and all these crimes uh, towards humans and uh, this reptilian heavy influence underground base. So we, we need to figure out what the fuck has been going on here, okay? We, when we ask for answers, we get only this emotional pain. So we haven't still figured out how to solve this inner pain. So in a way, it is not healed, it is unhealed. I can, I can figure out how to do this, but ah, it's almost so, so f freaking hard. It's like hurting, hurting in the chest area. Like, oh, the hardcore inner levels, it's almost like... Uh, something's very bad, something's so wrong, horribly wrong, you know. Uh, it's, it's safe, but it hurts like hell, you know. It's like, ah, uh, it's so fucking hard. So the child brings up this painful thing. And most of the time it's like, I don't know what is causing the pain. I can only feel that it's been this huge catastrophe, catastrophe or something. It's nuclear energy or something. And I can feel the pain, you know, but... Uh, Oh, and uh, like I had to solve it my alone or something. I can have the child get quiet and I, I, I promised like I will make as, as long videos as I can. That's really horrible, horrible. I know someone's listening to this anyway. So basically there's like uh, there's just a few beings coming from another galaxy and uh, simply starting to experience this female pain that has been going on here. It's not nice. Uh, what you have done, 
it's basically when you look at the government or something, there's only this harsh male power, and everything that's feminine was destroyed or something. But it's it still exists in the third dimension uh, with, within uh, as autistic children in schools and in the third dimension and with a little smoothening and putting the heart flow back to the um, core damage and uh, core damage core damage inner expression uh, the Down syndrome the autistic children the girl autistic girl I'm also working together with she's really helping to release the heart flow. So she, I, I feel like, okay, there's no pro problem with them to express the disease, you know. And the disease goes like this, there's heavy energy stuck within the heart. Like you can't get rid of it. I always want to talk to anyone. My my main goal, my main, my main approach is to somehow get rid of this, to somehow approach this pain, to, to release it, to understand this pain by talking. Oof, it's not going anywhere, but uh, the channel is getting more pure, the channel is getting more clear. So even if I'm in, I'm in ecstatic state, I still know, ah, someday I have to come back to this galaxy and uh, really figure out this pain once more. You know. And I'm, I'm afraid to stop, and I, I'm afraid to stop eating, and I'm, because I might die, because of, if I don't think I might die, if I don't keep talking because if I stop talking this pain will uh, stay inside me instead of letting it out it will hurt me so this lesson like that you have to keep talking to release this amounts of suffering well uh, what it does physically is one thing what it does mentally and emotionally is another thing so you will start to feel low self-worth you should feel guilty painful everything this is a special trait of the Pleiades in this galaxy. So there's like few things. So when when I add, uh, add them to approach soul cl cluster, okay, okay, I want to talk also about the Pleiades because in support it's a high level soul cluster. But if if you somehow go to the lower astral realms uh, and you have to add them to connect the 3D Pleiades back to the original Pleiades, then you start to feel that the, this amount of tragedy this painful guilt, this suppressed emotional memories, this this missing anthem of starlight, this this children children, the songs of children, the heart of the mother guy, this emotional fears, the emotional values, the pain that uh, so unreleased like I attempt to heal the whole school, the two heart chakras, heart chakra and uh, this kind of tranquilish this upper heart chakra that's full of pain freaking fucking bastards these kind of emotional values okay we're, we're attempting to deal with them we're, we're gonna fix this but there's so fucking people but we're going to fix this okay so there we, we do this session with this uh, autistic girl or, uh, and she's like we, we play this word word game where we explain our, our culture to each other and she, she at one point I, I can I ask for for her higher self all the time in Estonian and I get this permission with higher self and suddenly I get this poison inside me like there was this ah, huge like uh, kind of a snake or something that had attacked him had attacked, attacked her ah there's a spider I don't know if you can see there's a spider coming but this mm, mm, this snake had attacked her heart and I couldn't understand this it's almost like this, this lizards or something that have had attacked our Lemurian hearts okay Lemuria cause of downfall a lot of lizards bite a five dimensional heart okay so why you fall the third dimension is because you were attacked badly by a snake bites it was in your heart areas within the fourth dimension within the fifth dimension ah, huge attacks huge attacks by Lemurian lizards okay the Lemurian was a hard flow I was in standard five dimensional, five dimensional shift, and there was nothing like nothing disturbing. There was, you could peacefully meditate. You could enter higher frequencies. You could commit yourself to connecting with outer galaxies. There was nothing that could hold you back. But then, for some reason, it was not okay for for a few galaxies, and they attempt to enter the fourth dimension so aggressively that they managed to kind of create this unbalance, they kind of hate to hear this, they hate, hate, 
okay, they hate to hear this smooth higher level vibes, but then I'm gonna, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I, I will attack your heart, okay, this kind of things. So, and until your heart chakra, your fourth dimension, is not functioning properly, until I, I will figure out how to ruin it, okay, I will do no matter what to ruin your heart chakras, okay, so this kind of attacks we're dealing with. And I'm coming, I'm coming also from the fourth, okay, almost from the heart levels, uh, from the inner galactic tune vibes. Uh, within the core of our hearts, there's a soulful clusters, and blah, blah, blah. we come from there, okay. So I'm also in tune. Basically, what your heart chakra looks like is a tragic attack towards a female space. So what you did, you kind of. As a collective, you're gonna crash land attack the feminine female vibe. So how we will get how to heal our hearts? The only way is to reconnect with your soulful galactic heritage. Okay. Okay. Even if you're from this galaxy, even if you're from the Pleiades, from this very core soulful galaxy, you can ask for help. You can call in help. We are in survival mode. Okay. We feel it in our hearts. We're safe enough to talk about it now, but we're in core level now. Hard, so we feel the crash, okay? And the crash is caused because someone beat you hard in the Your heart is like tender, soft, and it was attacked like mad dog bite your heart. Something like this, yeah? In the fourth dimension. So we're going to figure out how to easily, gently, slowly cure this, cure this kind of pain, these feelings. And I will do everything I can to start feeling better in my heart and to help others to release this tragic pain. Okay, the canalactic inner centers, we call in the highest light for our highest good. We do everything to survive. We do everything to survive. We will heal, okay? So, uh, what else do I want to talk about? Do I want to talk about how to approach the light? Why is there uh, interdimensional frequencies? still going on why aren't they not blocked might the lizard ask okay they are not blocked because we are keeping these connections alive we have already fifth dimensional fourth dimensional flow coming to the third dimension in play play out in high high dimensional schools okay so our schools are working already multi-dimensionally interdimensional we have full connection with the play this we are we have stabilized light bodies we have merkabas that are fully working we're not gonna disrupt them consciously again. Our heart first place, we're connected with divine light. We, we know we're in catastrophic crisis space, but once we get out from this, ah, oh, this doomful galaxy is gonna destroy itself. Ah, oh, this, this kind of thing, like we're all gonna crash, we're all gonna die. If this kind of catastrophic, okay? How to get out of it? Once we get out of this mode, this, oh, we have to do everything to survive. We will, we will figure out how to smoothly, slowly heal our hearts again, because the connections, the soulful connections, will happen from the heart level. Okay. So it's it's not about how bad you're hurt within your heart. It's about the soulful, cheerful, joyful connections that will heal you. Okay. And even if you feel really terrible, really bad really awful, really disturbed. Simply there's, there's no need for this distrust again. You can trust the galactic goddess and the healing will come and everything will come. I promise you. Oh, I know many of you children especially are in freaking fucking survival mode and you better be. Yeah? So this kind of attitude uh, we're dealing with. <sighs> 